My name is Esther Brim and the name of the movie is Butterflies. I always love documentaries. Since I, since I was at school I always freelance on documentaries and I did everything, camera assisting and PA work and first my interning jobs always was documentaries. So it just kind of came naturally that I, I, I like to tell stories, I like to know people, new people, know their stories and I also, in a way, I, I just like to film happy positive stories. So, because I think there is so much bad in the world and, and people make lots of sad documentaries. So I think there is not many happy documentaries and I, I like to do that. It's actually one of the quotes of one of the characters in the film. She says it and I kind of realize it, it kind of tells the story of a regular person transforming into the big superstar online. So it's the process of what actually happens to them and I thought it was fitting. The idea for the film actually came kind of slowly to me. I was, I was involved on YouTube because I was doing lots of editing and I was looking just for a place to post my own reel and videos. And once I started posting videos I realized there was a community so I became involved in the community and posted vlogs and watched other vloggers. And more I was involved and more I watched it in a way almost like a hobby or like a television. People kept asking me, what, what is this thing with YouTube? Why are you... And I kept explaining them. And then one day I was like, you know, most of the YouTubers are around me. Maybe I should shoot a few interviews with them and make it into a movie to explain what's, what's happening. And it turned into a way bigger project than I, you know, originally intended. I think the storyline was kind of easy because I had kind of set points that I wanted to explain to people about the community, about community, about how people make the videos and what kind of videos. But it was the characters that made the story because each of, each of them had their own life that was completely different. One girl was making videos about a dog, one guy was just making crazy videos, one guy is a musician. So just by telling their story, it put together the story of YouTube, which is the story of anyone. In the beginning, actually, I didn't have my choice. Lots of them didn't get back to me, so I, 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 I couldn't pick. I, I sent email to many of them, and most of them didn't get back to me. And two of my original picks got back to me, and they were the ones that stayed in the film, and then their friends kind of saw that I was around filming, and they approached me. So if it was up to me, I would probably have six completely different characters, but it, it just developed by the way, who approached me, who was willing to be on camera and didn't charge me for it. Because at that point they were, some of them were too big to do it for free. I started pre-production at the end of 2007 and we premiered in the summer of 2009. So two years, two years from the first paperwork to the, to the showing. This was a speed project. Uh, I was editing as we were still shooting. I started editing in the summer of 2008, slowly, but I was editing 24-7, seven days a week. And we did our first, we did have like cast and crew screening in April. So I was done editing in April. We started with budget that was way smaller, but in developed, it was under $100,000. I first went to uh, friends and family for, uh, for, for some funding, then I approached a few funding organizations, but mostly it was Tom raising money. The way I found out about the Arclight Documentary Festival was through a friend of mine who is a big fan of butterflies and he basically just emailed me and said, Esther, you have to submit your film to this, this is an important one. I went out of my way to get votes. I approached everybody who worked on the film and I even made my own vlog and in a bikini I promised people if they like me and like the video I'll, I'll make this vlog and they did and, 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 and Olga followed. So I, I, ended, I, I thought I was getting all these likes because of my bikini video but there was actually a Mush Army video from Olga which I found out later. For us, it's such an honor to play in Arclight because that's our favorite theater and our support and all the audience and fans and friends and everybody who worked on the film lives here and Arclight is the theater where we want to go see movies and we played in lots of festivals and we played everywhere but we never played in such a theater. So for us to, to show there, to be part of this, two years after the film finished, it's, it's, it's the finale, <laughs> good finale.